The topic of this video is constructing a model using variation. Let's look at a problem. Write an equation. The square of t varies directly with the cube of a and inversely with the square of d. Now before we begin solving this problem, I want to spend a little bit of time helping you with step one of this problem, which is to identify what's doing the varying. Let's look at a similar but different situation. The mayor of Okoe jumped up and down. So, who jumped up and down? Would it be appropriate to say that Okoe jumped up and down? No, Okoe is a place, not a person. So when we ask the question, who jumped up and down, the answer would be the mayor of Okoe jumped up and down. We need to use similar thinking and reasoning when we apply step one to this problem. The square of t varies. What's doing the varying? Would we say that t varies? No, we would say the square of t varies. And the square of t would be written as t to the second power. So, performing first step, write the quantity or expression that varies followed by equals. So we write t squared equals. Step two, write the constant of proportionality k in the numerator of a fraction. All right. Step three, write the other quantities or expression in the fraction. If the word directly is used, as it is here, then that quantity goes in the numerator. So, the cube of a, a cubed, goes in the numerator. If the word inversely is used, then that quantity goes in the denominator. We do have the word inversely. So, the square of d goes in the denominator, d squared. Step four, if necessary, replace an empty denominator with one. We do not have an empty denominator. And this problem does not ask us to predict the future, so, we can now write our final answer by multiplying these together. t squared equals ka cubed over d squared. This is our variation equation.